Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I did Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Charm Readings. And let's begin. And just keep in mind that this is a general reading. And just take what resonates. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Um, have a look at one of my other readings. If there's a title that stands out for you, there might be a message there for you. And these readings are timeless. Oh, and thank you for clarifying about the uh, teapot cover. I had no idea and I didn't know it was called a cozy. <laughs> I didn't know anyone made those things. <laughs> so that's really cool. <laughs> Sounds like fun to make, make unique stuff, right? Whether it be crochet or knitting. Masculine in this reading, uh, it shows here that he is tired of things not being, it's like he wants to make sure things are right. What is, what was done unjustly, what was done unfairly. Um, it's like wanting to put things back in balance, wanting to bring just into the situation. And I feel like this masculine is going to, um, it shows something about bringing in victory here. This is somebody who's going to really work hard to make this happen. I see a strong offer here that this masculine is planning to bring in for the Divine Feminine. Looks like a very solid, um, something very tangible uh, offer. Uh, it can come in a form of a gift, jewelry. Uh, I, I feel like it could be a promise, something of promise. Could be a proposal, a ring, um, something that is very shiny, let's just say. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel it's something of jewelry coming coming with something of a promise. Um, this is somebody who, this masculine, he is really, it's like he knows exactly what he wants and he's just going to go for it. There's nothing holding this masculine back. It shows here that what once used to make Divine Feminine feel like he was stuck, this is somebody who is very, open to expressing his love now he has transformed and the only thing I see here is that he's made a decision but he is constantly thinking about what to do next it's like he's stuck in thinking about it thinking about it he's constantly thinking about divine feminine in this reading I feel it has to do with how to approach you how to come across as strong um, because this Divine Masculine, it shows here he is very sensitive. He has a lot of love for Divine Feminine. He is shocked by his own emotions. <laughs> I see him being shocked about his own feelings for you. He never expected that he would have love of this um, magnitude with this intensity. This is a lot of intensity in his emotions here. It's like something that, it's like he is... He can't hold it in any longer. It's a tsunami of emotions. It's just going to come pouring in. This is a divine masculine who just wants to be open, share, and he wants to show how much he's changed. Um, this is somebody who finds himself very lucky to have met you. It shows here that he feels very blessed. He he loves you a lot in this reading, Divine Feminine. And he sees you as somebody who is very selfless, meaning that you care for so many, so many things outside of yourself, other people, other situations. You've put many things before you and you are a giver in this reading. 
and Divine Masculine sees that quality in you. And he is so grateful that someone like you had loved and always have love for Divine Masculine. He knows that you continue to love him and he feels it. And I feel like he knows because of some of the things you may have said in the past. And I feel like he's confident that, that you still have love for him. He's not worried about, I feel like he has no doubts about your emotions or feelings towards him. Um, it shows here that in the past he was immature. He didn't want to really work things out. Uh, it shows here that his immaturity was one of the reasons why he didn't give effort to the connection in the first place because he didn't understand what love was. He didn't feel the emotions that Divine Feminine felt for masculine at the time. But he knew that there was something very unique about you. And when you came into his life, he felt like it was not just a fork in a road. He felt like there's too many directions for him to choose. Which way should I go? If I go this way, I can do this with my life. If I go this way, I can move towards this thing in my life. And one of the directions was you. He didn't just see you as the destination. He saw different, different things that were, I feel, available at that time. So I'm not talking about a person. I'm talking about situations. So there may have been other things things that came into masculine's life at that time, opportunities, um, some sort of uh, change, whether it be career, whether it be um, some sort of move, something like that. He had a lot of things that were happening at once. And when you came into his life, he didn't see love as importance. Like he didn't see it as priority. And it shows here that he is aware now that the the things that he had thought in the past and the decisions that he made in the past were coming from a place of immaturity. And I feel like that immaturity, um, what I'm, the word that I was getting is um, being inexperienced with what he was experiencing at that time because there were a lot of things that he was shown and I feel it had to do with his divine path. But at the same time, there were some things that he needed to learn. And by not being fully awakened at that time, he was unable to see the lessons that he needed to learn prior to uh, reconnecting or being with you. It shows here that he chose to walk away from love in the past. He went towards something that he thought would take less effort, but it was something that he thought was looked good at that time. Some of these Divine Masculines didn't know what love was, the feeling, that emotion. I feel the attraction was there, but they may have confused attraction and liking someone with love. Like they thought that liking an attraction was love but they didn't know the intensity of divine love they didn't know that it's something that is unconditional that is something that is beyond the physical beyond um, the material and this masculine i feel the word love was coming more from a 3d perspective um but now uh, it shows here that this masculine is seeing things more clearly and he knows what he wants. He knows um, what he needs to do because his third eye in this reading is open. He is aware, he's alert, he is awakened and he wants to come in with the offer and it's coming in with a, see, there is wedding bands in this reading. He wants to have reunion. This masculine is tired of Holding self back because in the past, I feel like he kind of like, he's, it's not that he, he blames himself. It's kind of like he's telling himself something along the lines of, I can't blame myself for the past because I wasn't fully, I wasn't fully alert or I wasn't fully aware of what I felt then. 
But now that I know what I what I what I'm supposed to know, what I know about divine feminine and my love for divine feminine, what I know now, now that I see more clearly about our connection, I don't want I don't want to delay things any further. And I feel like whatever happened in the past, he he has already forgiven himself for the past. Because he's seeing things in a, it shows a maturity here. Somebody who is wise, somebody who is conscious, awakened. And I feel like whoever this masculine is, when this masculine approaches divine feminine, divine feminine will, it looks like masculine, sounds like masculine, but kind of feels like masculine, but there's something different, I f and I feel that the Divine Feminine will not fully recognize the my masculine for, for how much he has grown, evolved spiritually. And it will be a good surprise. I feel like it will take this Divine Feminine off guard, like, wow, I thought I was spiritually evolving. I thought I was awakened, but this masculine, he is... I feel like you will feel that this masculine has surpassed you. But it's only because I feel in some cases it, it has to do with whatever your mission work is. That it's time for Divine Masculine to take the lead. Because for the long period of time, I feel that this Divine Feminine energetically was leading the way to help lead and guide Divine Masculine. But now there is kind of like a shift. Um, that's how it works, right? So... It is something that has to do with when you two come into union, it's time for Divine Masculine to step into the energy of the masculine to lead the Divine Path because Divine Feminine was leading energetically both on the Divine Path to continue to grow, to evolve, so that when they come into union, once in the 3D, this Divine Masculine will take on the, feels like now it's time for me to sit in the gyrus seat, right? But with the guidance and the energetic balance of Divine Feminine. Decision has been made already. I see here that this Divine Masculine is already, he's already ready. <laughs> um, he's ready to reconnect with Divine Feminine. He wants to restore the connection. He is very wise. He's he's learned a lot about your connection. He may have done even research on it. I feel like he was receiving downloads and he started to look further into it. Um, he wants to restore the connection. He is very strong at this time. He has the strength within him to bring you two together. It's like there's nothing going to hold this masculine back. It's like I know who I want to be with. I know where I need to go and I'm just going to go for it. Rain or shine, I'm coming. That's what I feel like. This masculine's like, rain or shine, I'm coming. So this masculine, he is not going to hold back. This reading, he is just moving forward because he's already decided. It's like, the king has spoken. I shall go forward towards my queen. <laughs> so that's what I feel like. The king has spoken. He is coming towards the divine feminine. I feel like he's getting ready. And... This forward movement here, he wants to close the old, meaning close the, the old cycle, but not only energetically, but it has to do with closing off that, the separation, ending the separation between you two, ending the separation of the 3D with you two being in separation in the 3D, ending that so that you two can come into union. It's like he wants reunion. He wants to come forward before the Divine Feminine. He's spoken about this with somebody. I feel like not just one person. There's a few people here. There may have been a discussion about somehow moving towards Divine Feminine. Planning to move towards Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine is unaware of this. Um, shows here that Divine Feminine has not been contacted yet. Does not know that Divine Masculine is on the way. Divine Feminine is busy doing their own thing in this reading. It shows here that Divine Feminine is trying to kind of like reveal things 
about something else that is part of their spiritual journey. Um, it shows here that trying to learn more about self, revealing more things about self to to continue to grow, to continue to, um, I feel like, have this close connection with the divine to be guided. Um, while the divine feminine is really focused on their independent soul journey, this divine masculine is planning to come in. This divine masculine is tired of being single. <laughs> it's like, I'm tired of being single. I know that it shows here that I know, divine masculine, I know that in order to connect, the person that can bring us both together is me. He is taking full responsibility for the separation and he's taking full responsibility for the reunion. He believes in this reading that the separation has happened, occurred and continued to occur because of them. And Divine Masculine is decided to take on the responsibility of bringing you two back together. It's like, I'm going to put in the work. I'm going to put in the effort. And I'm going to show Divine Feminine that this is for real. And I see here that they're going to come with a lot of clarity. They're going to speak truth. Meaning that what they feel, they will say it. They will not speak in riddles or try to make you figure things out. If their intention is for solid reunion in the 3D meaning like taking the connection to the next level like from uh, friendship into proposal to marriage that sort of thing they will do it shows here marriage as I showed you before they will speak what they feel how they feel about you what their intentions are and what they want in your connection um I see here that this masculine some cases, this masculine may have uh, kept distant from some family members who are not in favor of your, your reunion. And this is something that the Divine Masculine felt that they needed to do in order for them to move forward towards you. And it shows here that when you two come into union, when you start, to, when you start the new, the Divine is going to give you some both of you, the divine is going to give both of you um, something that is important, important for your spiritual path together in your mission work. This is some sort of gift knowledge that will be, I feel like, gifted to you when you come into full reunion in the 3D. This masculine is thinking about his life with you. How peaceful, how joyful. I feel like bringing heaven on earth. How life will be with you. The happiness, the joy, the peace. The pureness of your connection. He's thinking about how precious you are. And he wants to have a very loving and happy home with you. He's willing to rebuild. It shows rebuild. He wants to have balance in the home. He wants to provide he wants you to be happy. He wants you to do what you love, what you're inspired to do. And I feel like he wants you two to work together. And I feel, again, it has to do with the mission work, what you two are destined or what you agreed upon to do together. Shows that you two will really stand up for each other. When you come into union, you will be shown many things I feel like through dreams, or some sort of downloads that has to do with, with your gifts, masculine's gifts, and the combination, like you two combined. This is something that has to do with power couple, the, the combining of force, combining of energy, combining of power. You two will bring, bring special gifts to each other. You two have a lot to bring to to each other in union and that's going to really help you to move forward in this new path this new cycle new beginning that has to do with the mission work one more thing i see here when you two come into union you will not allow anything anything close to your connection meaning that you will protect that energy you will t protect the energy, the love that is 
between you two and not allow anything of lower vibration, things of the past, things of the old cycle to creep in. It's like weeds in a rose garden, in the divine feminine rose garden. You will not allow weeds to creep into the garden. That's what it shows here, that when you two come together, you will be protecting each other's energy so much so that there will not be anything outside of you. Okay, so this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, give a thumbs up, and thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.